are more than conquerors. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. You may be seated. Glory to his name forever. Hallelujah. We are more than conquerors. Hallelujah. All right. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Oh, hallelujah. <clears throat> All right, I intend sharing with you briefly on a simple subject. I want to share briefly with you on be filled with the Spirit. See. It's a, it's a, a simple but very profound instruction given to us in the book of Ephesians chapter number 5. Ephesians chapter 5. I want you to read for me verse 18. Want to go. You haven't found it yet? You haven't found it? Have you found it? All right, read it now, verse 18. And be not drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. I believe that the Word of God is for doing. I believe God gave us His Word not only to inform us, but for us to do it. So the Bible says, be ye doers of the Word, not hearers only. The people who are hearers only, they just hear it. They like it. They listen to the word of God. They love it. But they don't do it. Here it says, Be not drunk with wine, we in his excess, <clears throat> but be filled with the Spirit. Read it to someone close to you. Hallelujah. It says, be not drunk with wine. Word is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. Be filled with the Spirit. The striking thing about what he tells us here, when it says, be not drunk with wine, The, the Greek term that's used there expresses more than being full of the drink. It actually means to be full of it until it controls you. So he says, don't be full of the drink to the level it controls you. Now, the point is this. What he wants to tell you has nothing to do with drink. Are you getting this? You know, some people, that's where they like to stop. They say, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bible says, don't be, don't be full of drink until it controls you. I can drink until, so long as it doesn't control me, I still know myself. You see, he's not trying to talk to you about drink. He's trying to relate something to you. 
The focus is not on the drink. The focus is what should replace it. He's saying, don't be controlled by drink. Don't be full of drink till it controls you. Rather, be full of the Spirit to the control of the Spirit. That's what he's talking about. He's not trying to get your mind on the drink. He's trying to get your mind on the spirit. He wants you to be full of the spirit. How often? Always. Many, many Christians live ordinary lives because they are not full of the spirit. They are full sometimes and then not full sometimes. Meanwhile, the margin actually shows us that what the apostle was saying there, what Paul the apostle was saying there, was to be continually being filled with the Spirit. Be filled with the Spirit continually. Be filled with the Spirit If you're continually filled with the Spirit, your life will be an unending, unending stream of the supernatural, of the miraculous. When we talk about a life of constant victory, this is what we mean. It's a life that's continually filled with the Spirit. And because of that, you're going to see things God's way continually. You cease to operate at this base level of the ordinary man. It's a base level. They think wrong. They think at the ordinary plane of life. But there's a higher realm of life. We have been called into a supernatural walk with God for an unending life of victory. Absolute victory. But you know, that's not the experience of many, many Christians. It's not. They're trying and it's not working, you know. They, 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 they say they're putting some things to work. They're trying and then it's not happening as they expect. Somebody said, I, I, I give my tithes always. I don't know why I got problems in my finances. I give my offerings continually. I don't know why I got problems in my finances. Oh, well, I don't know why I got problems in my job. I don't know why I got problems in my business. You know, people got all these kind of things. They got lots of these challenges. You know why? Because they are operating on the level of the flesh. There's where they're operating. Step up. Tell somebody, step up. Step up. <laughs> Glory to God. Step up. step up. Say it again to someone. Step up, brother. Step up, step up sister. Step up, <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Step up. Step up. Stop seeing things the way you do. See with the eyes of the Spirit. See with the eyes of the Spirit. The world will suddenly become smaller to you. Think the thoughts of God. But you know, how are you going to do that? No, nobody can do that except by the Holy Ghost. That's why He wants us to be filled with the Spirit. Because if we're filled with the Spirit, we will be enabled supernaturally. We will see what men don't see. We will hear what the ordinary man can't hear. We will perceive things at a higher plane of life. A realm that's impossible for the natural man. 
The Bible says the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. And then he says, he that is spiritual judges all things, not some things. He has an understanding of all things. It's within his ability, in his spirit. Something about the spiritual man. He is never confused. He is never perturbed. He is never worried. He has come to the level in his life where he has learned to cast all his cares upon him. Because he cares for him. That's why Paul said, I can do all things through Christ. That strengthens me. I can, I can, I can, I can. Glory to God. I can do all things. He has an I can do mentality. He's never confused. He never finds himself in that position of worry. Why me? Why are these things happening to me? What have I done wrong? No. He has stepped upward. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He doesn't function like the ordinary man. He's full of the Holy Ghost. He says, be not drunk with wine, we're in his excess, but be filled with the Spirit. Be filled with the Spirit. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Be filled with the Spirit. He'll make you a wonder. Be filled with the Spirit. When you're full of the Spirit, you know, you, 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 you talk differently. You know, like the guy, you know, looks at himself in the mirror. He's always hissing. Always looking troubled. The one who's full of the Spirit stands in front of the mirror. He says, you're going somewhere. <laughs> Are you hearing me? He's cheered up always. You're going somewhere. He's talking to himself. You're going somewhere. The world is small. He did big. Are you listening? Because he's full of the Holy Ghost. He's full of the Holy Ghost. I always have better days. I always have better days. You know, some people say, you know, they're going through a hard time. You know, for that day, they say, you know, it's one of those days. They're trying to say, it's one of those tough days, you know, where things don't work out right. That's what they're trying to say. See, but because in their, in their mentality, they have these blue days. They have come to an understanding that things don't always work out. There are some days, tough.